Baltimore is an interesting place. According to Google, it's one of the most dangerous cities in the United States, but it's also known as Charm City. And every block you walk down, it changes. Like this area seems very charming, but the next block down is full of crackheads, an abundance of crackheads, and it feels very sketchy. But this area feels very beautiful and quaint with the old red brick buildings and the spire in the background. But just down there on the corner, if you walk that street, I think it's called Greenville Street, it seems pretty dangerous. I would not want to be walking down there on the night. So today we're going to explore Baltimore and see both sides of the city. And there's also some cool history to the city. The national anthem was written here during the War of 1812 at a place called Fork McHenry. And Babe Ruth was born here in 1895. Two little interesting facts there for you. So today we're just going to wander around, get lost, explore, meet the locals and see what Baltimore's about. And I'm wondering, do you think people live in these buildings? Hi man. Do people live in here? In the huts. In the huts, yeah. Mm -hmm. Homeless. Homeless? Who provides the huts for them? North Avenue Mission. Is it by the Is that a church? Yes, yeah, a church. And do you know what this mural is about? No, I'm not sure about the mural. Yeah. No, that was been there for a while. Mm. I'm not really sure. Do you live around here? Yeah, I live in a building. Really? Are you helping the people who yeah. take the trash out? Yeah. Very kind of you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I work, you know, work for them, you know. Oh, for the mission? Yeah, for the mission. Around here, are there any areas you suggest I shouldn't go around? Like, back? No, no, you're good. You're Just pretty good, good up day? here, yeah. All the time, yeah. Oh, even on the night? Nighttime, you got like transgenders, you uh -huh. know what I mean? They they out doing their little thing, but yeah. that's a pretty good area, though. Know? We're not really violent around here. Okay, though. that's good to know. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know. Are there any areas where I shouldn't go? Not not around here. Not around here. Not around here like, no. To the west, to the north of here. West like... side, yeah. Don't go to the west side west of Baltimore. Side. That's like down that way. <laughs> no, that's on the other side that's of side. Uh, north. You know, just like North Avenue right there. Yep. Once you go across that bridge and all the way over that way, you know, that ain't really where you want to go. All right, real, okay. you know? All right. I mean, especially not knowing nothing about the city or whatever. Yeah, that ain't yeah. no place you want to be at, you know what I mean? True. Everybody ain't open. What's up, Alex? Oh, I right. appreciate the advice. Yeah, no problem, bro. I appreciate yeah, it, But Thank around you. here, though, we pretty good, though. We ain't got no whole lot of violence or nothing like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. Pretty kind and everything, open yeah, yeah. to stuff, you know so what I'm saying? So if I, like, approach people and talk to them, they'll Yeah, be some people are approachable, some people not. You, yeah, you, yeah. You'll see that as you go along, though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. not open to talking or whatever, too, you know what I mean? They ain't going to really talk to you. They don't know you or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But, Fair you know, enough. other than that, you know, it's pretty, pretty close. I appreciate it. All right, no doubt. Have a good day, man. You Thank too, you. man. Eat. Cheers. Bye -bye. I perceive this area to be pretty dangerous and sketchy. You'll see why, like, later on when we walk around, but that guy was really friendly and said there's nothing to worry about. But the west side is where we don't want to go, so we're not going to go anywhere near that. But this area seems like a vibe. That's my new favorite word, vibes. Maybe cool vibes. In fact, tonight we're going to have loads of cool vibes. We're gonna go to a bar, do some karaoke, and we're gonna go to my mate's record shop. Hey man, hey, how, are you? how you doing? Hanging I'm just there, making bro. a video about Baltimore. Ah, cool, you wanna view my video? What's that? Do you wanna be in the video? Um, if you're gonna be here in a second, I'm um, doing something real quick, but I'll be back out. Yeah, can I, should I just wait here? Yeah, yeah, I'll be back out. All time, right, bro. thank you man. I wanna hear more about this uh, project that the ah, mission's doing. You. Yeah. Sounds I, interesting. When I come back out, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, thank you mate. Yeah, man, thank I appreciate you. you. Cool vibes. I've just noticed on the corner here it says Nanook OWB2, maybe that's a postcode, 2014. So I'm guessing this kid died in 2014. But I wonder what the significance is with the wasps around his head. And we've got a bicycle wheel, maybe he liked to ride his bike. Maybe that's a house he lived in, then some flowers. And I like how his white shirt has got the clouds on, it's very beautiful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Why do you think there's wasps around his head? It almost looks like it's protecting him. The street I'm on now, where am I? I don't know, I don't know where I am, but the street I'm on now seems very nice, quiet, clean, a nice place you'd want to live. But let me take you around the corner and see how it changes so quickly in just one block. Can I get a Twix, please? 
How much is it? Huh? Is this for protection? Yes, it's protection, yeah. Is it bulletproof? Yes, bulletproof. Do you ever have problems in here? Oh, problems, a lot of problems here? No, now it's okay. Now it's okay? I'm making a video about Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. How long has this shop been here for? Uh, it's like two months. Two months? When you first opened, did you have problems? Yes, it's a problem. When did you install this? Uh, what you said? When did you build this? Like the first day? Uh, you say what time is make that one? Yeah, when? It's, it's I make like it's like two, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? How much does this cost to make? Actually, I don't know. My boss here. Oh, the boss did it, okay. Just time, and I'm he's working there. As I'm new, guys, that's what yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate your help. Thank you. Please. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. I've noticed as well here, there's lots of Korean writing and restaurants. This says, Byonyol Gibol Irelul Gimok Hanun. Excuse me. Hello. Do you know who this is? I knew. E salami alayo. Look, Hanguk salami ayo. John and Yongguk Salami. Yeah. E Salam uh, Alayo? Yeah. Nukueo? Jugosayo. Onje Jugosayo? Oredesayo. Oredesayo? Yeah. Where um, yeah. Where Jugosayo? Otoke? Nalga Manasayo. Nalga Manasayo. Yeah. He took ah. off. He lived over there. Then flopped. Oh, he lived there? Yeah. Yogi Hangu uh, Shikang Manayo? Yeah. Where? Yogi Where? Uh, Hanguk Sara Manayo? Where? Well? In jail, my up there. Outside? Okay. Before, there's a hundred people over there. Now, only a couple. couple people. Oh, in this, uh, in the Gongmul, lots yeah. of people. Yeah. But now, now people. not. Now, no. Everybody moved. Not the, you know, not the apartments. Where did they go? Yeah, but you know, a new apartment come up. Oh, to a new there. apartment, okay. Yeah. Alright, lovely. Can you recommend a good Korean uh, restaurant? Jonggak. This jonggak? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go look at the menu. Yeah. Menu bulgur. Yeah. Jonggak says a lot of American people go. Okay. Manasa bangasumnida. Kasumnida. Seems a bit odd that there's a Korean community in this neck of the woods. I don't associate Koreans with crackheads. Like, why would Korean people want to leave Seoul, which is the coolest city I've ever been and come to a place like this, it's, I don't know. Anyhow. Pull it. Anya. Odiel. This way? Okay, because somebody da. a hell of a mustache, my friend. Cheers, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. This way? Show you? Chitang Irum Moeo. Oh, Chongak. Okay, Kasamni Da. Alright, she's saying to go to Chongak. Chongak reminds me of. What does Chongak mean? Chongak. 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 Oh, it rings a bell, that's annoying me. And I don't have internet on my phone to Google Translate it. Chongak. Oh, this is annoying. Chongak. Chongak. Oh, Alright, let's go inside and check out the Chongak. This one? No, the next one? Oh yeah, that says Kong Podja. Oh, hang on, so there's a Korean restaurant here, and there's another one here, and there was one on the corner back there. Chonggak special, vegetarian, no thank you. All right, I think I'm gonna keep it standard. I'm gonna go for the kimchi jjigae. Let's try the kimchi jjigae, see how good it tastes out of Korea. Kimchi jjigae, do you say? Kimchi jjigae. Oh, we've got some glass noodles in here. This is banging, it's been a while since I've had kimchi as well. And the kimchi's really good. Let me show you what we've got. So, for those of you that don't know, kimchi jjigae. This is kimchi. Jjigae means stew. And it's a soup made of kimchi. It's got some tofu in, some glass noodles, and there's some meat in here. There'll be pork, or is it? There, it's a little bit of pork some sticky rice, some kimchi, 
fish cake, potatoes, fermented cucumber. This is white cabbage in mayonnaise, bean sprouts, seaweed, and this is a leaf. Can't remember the name, but it's all fantastic. Here, hiding in at the bottom, look what I found. A cheeky little sujebi. If you got sujebi in kimchi jjigae, that's a sign of a good kimchi jjigae. Bad boy. Bad boy kimchi jjigae. <laughs> Tapping out. Can't do anymore. Chanmokha <laughs> sumida. Oh, we got a yakult as well. Go on. In Korea, everybody loves drinking yakult. It's really good for your gut, especially on a morning after drinking loads of soju. Man, I miss living in Korea so much. I never thought when I came to Baltimore, I'd eat a Korean meal like that. That was really good. Now we got to walk around a little bit to burn it off. So let's go over this way towards the east and explore a bit more of Baltimore. We're going to stay away from the west. We've been warned not to go there. This city is a complete mess. I've never seen anything like it. I've never been to a city like this in my life. When I do things like this, I don't really like to look at my phone. I like to just explore and get lost and see the place myself. But I've got a point of reference. I know that the house I'm staying at is near Druid Park Hill. So I need to ask someone which direction that is. So later, before it gets dark, I know which way to head. What's your name? Dan. Dan. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. So you want to go to London? I'm going to let you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to text you. Yeah, I get my food though. Yeah, you said your name, Dan? Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. I'll text you later. I'll just show you a text. Let's Come. do the dap. You know, I've just learned how no, to do the dap. Like, like that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like know how that. to dap. So it's like. Because. Uh, like that. No, my, no. Then oh, you no. gotta still. You gotta give it I'll that. I'll pull it back. Alright, go on then. Do it again. Okay. Oh, my no. friend in Atlanta had to show me how to do it. Alright. Respect, man. I appreciate that. I'll send you a message later. Have hey, a good send day. Me, send me a channel too, though. Yeah, yeah, I will do. Right. In a bit. Thank you, man. See you later. What a lovely lad. He just gave me some plants. You know the plants that grow naturally in the ground, but for some reason they're illegal? He gave me that variety. So maybe I'll enjoy those later and then enjoy some Paul Chin chicken wings. Now I know why this is called the Charm City. The people are so charming. I what I have. Do you want some marijuana? Someone else gave it to me. You can have it if you want. I would love this. Thank I've got a little bit more for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. See you later. You're welcome. Have a good day. My belief is if someone gives something to you, you should always give something to somebody else. So there's a reason why I always give my hats away. And that's why I'm wearing this one because my last blue corduroy hat I gave to the frat boy in Colombia because he said he liked it. And the one before that, I gave to a lad in France at the World Cup final. And the reason that started with me is because when I was living in Vietnam, my friend Theo gave me a corduroy hat. It was a Corona Cerveza corduroy hat and I really liked it. He's like, you like it? It's yours now. The colour as well is my favourite colour. That's my favourite colour. That's like my favourite tone of blue. Yeah, oh no, that tone right there. Yeah, yeah. Can you do a wheelie on it? Uh, no, I don't know. No. I don't know, Willie, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> who's, whose music is this? Um, the guy named Mir Rax, he from Washington, D.C. Mir Rax? Mir Rax, yeah. You said England? England, yeah, yeah. No, matter of fact, he's from London, I think. Oh, he's from London? What's the name from London? What's the rapper name? Um, Skepta? Huh? You know Skepta? Uh-uh. No, he... He came here. We always thought he was from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, but the whole 21 Savage. 21 Savage. We did yeah, not yeah, know yeah. he was yeah. from um, London. London. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you like it, his music too? No, yeah, 21 Savage. No, yeah. listen, um, the, the the rapper group named Dipset, they used to have a, a group in London. Yeah. They used to have, I don't know if they still like did them, but they used to have a group in London. And um, like, they can really rap. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah no, they can like, I'll I listen to them on YouTube, Dipset. Dipset. I don't think I've heard of them. They do good freestyles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Right, they do okay. freestyles a lot, yeah. How much does a bike like this cost? A bike like this might cost you about a couple of hundred. That's it? Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Can I sit on it? Yeah. And it's a Huffy. Wow, this is a nice yeah. bike, man. It's got good tires. Yeah, good handlebars. Good tires, yeah. Hi, love. See you later. Bye. Where are you from? England. Sounds 
good as he. You heard, you heard. You know, England and London got that little, they got like same little as that, like yeah, the dialogue yeah, yeah. a little bit the same, yeah. Okay. See you I later. Know. Why do you think um, Baltimore is known as the Charm City? Because all the people I've spoken to are so friendly, so I think listen, it's the people. I mean, listen, not listen, right? All right, you know, they, they, they always put it out there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, don't go to Baltimore, you might. Did anybody part with you, brother? Brother, did anybody part with you? No, 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 no. But, 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 but the saying, like, if you was in a different, like, in America, say if you was in Colorado, D.C., anywhere, Philly, a lot of places be like, you going to Baltimore? Oh, boy, you better not go border with they killing. They get, this is not, fuck that. They killing everywhere around the world, bro. Yeah, yeah. You mind your business, you're going to be all right. Simple as that. You going to come from? If I come out here and mind my business, walk down the street, ain't nobody going to bother me because I'm minding mine. Yeah. And if I come out street, I'm looking at you, what's up, yo? Then I'm going to get hurt because I'm I'm putting fuel on the fire. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Yeah, Baltimore that. is it's a great place. Though. We, got, we got a lot of good people, you know what I mean? But one thing about this city, right, a lot of people don't make it. They make yeah, it over yeah. the penitentiary where they make it in, down here. I appreciate your help, man. No, I appreciate it's you, It's been good bro. speaking to you. Yes, always a pleasure, Catch bro. Catch you in a bit, brother. I appreciate oh, it. See you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Excuse me. Do you know, it's Colin here the with the record store. It, where is the record store? It's around, if you go is, up the little, like, right by the coffee shop, there's a buzzer. This is the bar we came to last night. And Colin, the DJ, said, I can take a look around his record store. Let's see if he's here. Uh, E2, E4. Uh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. So the hours are Friday till Sunday, 1 till 7. Today is... What day is it? God, you lose track of the days when you're travelling. What day is it? It's either Tuesday or Wednesday. But I'm not sure. So they're not open. Right, let's keep heading north. Can I go in here and go up to the rooftop to see the sunset over the city? Are you from Paris? I love no, no, your I'm accent. from London. London. I love your yeah. accent. I love it. I, I, I felt I knew it from your yeah, yeah, mustache. The mustache and everything. Hello? Anyone, do you work here? Yeah. I'm trying to go up to the rooftop because I want to film a video of the sunset over the city. Is there a way to get to the roof? You know how I get to the roof now? Sorry, I'll get up there. Is there access to the roof? No, I don't think this way. You'll probably have to go through the back, the back way, because it's go like on? ladders. Okay. Is that a real grill? Mm -hmm. That's cool. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Can I film your grill? Yeah. Let's have a look. Is it real gold? Yeah. More clear too, man. Wow. You YouTube channel or something? Yeah, yeah. For real? What's yeah. What's your YouTube name? Where is Dan? How many thousand you got? Describe. Like almost 2,000. I just made a video going around Baltimore today because it's known as a charm city. So where you from? Leeds in the north of England. For real? So you travel here? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that looks cool. Yeah, yeah. That looks really cool. Hold <laughs> oh, no. so you're not from the US? No, no, I'm from England. England. It's a... from the north from a place called Leeds. Oh, film there. Come on, let's see. Oh, that's a cool. That's a really nice watch. Is that a citizen? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Nope. Get this tattoo. Forever Dink. What's Dink? It's my homeboy. It's your homeboy? Yeah. I've seen a photo down on the wall by the... Uh, there's a big mural. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's from 2014. Oh, no, that's not... With a guy with dreadnoves. Do you want to see my tattoo? <laughs> I got a tattoo last week. Do you want to see it? Yeah. 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 It's a really cute tattoo. Oh, oh he got the car. A little car. How much yeah. you pay for that? 80. Yeah. I got it in South Carolina. Yeah. I like your shoes, the dunks. Yeah. Dunks are cool, man. Yeah. You guys got some good style. You got some Under Armour. Some Under Armour. They like Skechers. Yeah, yeah. No, Comfortable. Yeah. They feel like Skechers. Let's see your grills. That's cool, man. Yeah. Do you think I'd look good if I had grills? Yeah. Do you think I could? Yeah. Citizen. Is Citizen a popular brand here? Yeah. yeah. Mine's uh, from South Korea. How much hmm. is that? It was like one dollar. For real? I got it from a yeah, flea market like a from Seoul in South Korea. That's cool. Real? It costs a dollar. How much your currency down where you live? Like we have pounds. A hundred dollars would be about a hundred and ten pounds. So it's similar. Okay. Do you want to see a pound? <laughs> have you seen English money before? Oh. So that's a pound. That's like our dollar. One pound. 
That's yeah. That's like one dollar ten. So y'all don't use y'all don't use cat like notes. Have cash. We have so notes, that but is? that's one pound. That's like a dollar. Our oh, notes. Y'all call them notes. Notes, yeah. Bills. Bills, yeah. A bill for us mm -hmm. is a hundred pounds. Because we use slang, so a bill is a hundred. Mm -hmm. A bag of sand is a grand, like a thousand. Mm -hmm. So we call it a bag. Yeah, yeah, some guy in the street just gave me some for free. He's like, here, have some weed. So I gave it to some homeless lady in the street. Yeah. Hey, you, you can keep it if you want. As a souvenir. Hey. Hey, you, you aren't Sorry, did you thank get you. It? Did you get it? No, I'm good. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go around here. Mm -hmm. She wants to be on my video. Yeah, oh, yes. I'm going to go around this way and then go to the thing. Follow me. Follow me, just yeah, tell people to subscribe. Underscore diamond. You can follow me at just call me late on Instagram. Period. Give it a shout out. Do you have an Instagram to shout out? All right, I appreciate that. <laughs> He's lit, y'all. Thank you. Catch you in a bit. <laughs> what lovely people. They're all so charming. Everybody around here. Right, let's try climb up a ladder and go to the rooftop. It doesn't sound safe, but it sounds fun. This one. Ooh. Ooh. This is easier than I thought. I thought I was going to have to climb up there. Right, just give it a quick old shake. Yeah, that'll do. It's a little bit wobbly. Oh, yeah, this is easy. All right. This is what we're working with here. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you'll know that I love to go to rooftops, especially in South Korea. And this is the first rooftop that I've been to in a while. This is kind of sketchy to do with one hand on a rusty ladder. Oh, hell yes. Whoa, we'll walk on the beam so it's a little bit safer. When we were in um, Washington, Bradley said the buildings can't go above 13 stories. And also in South Carolina, the buildings couldn't be built higher than the church spires. So I kind of feel like from the south of America, the buildings are gradually getting higher. They're all kind of low around here. They're a bit bigger over there, but when we get to New York City, the buildings are going to be very massive, humongous buildings. Let's shoot me ourselves over to the edge. Oh no, they can't see us. Hello! Hello! All right, let's get off this roof. Whoa. Man, I love traveling. This is what traveling is about for me. Forget going to the center of Baltimore and seeing whatever tourist stuff they have to offer. Not interested. For me, this is traveling. This is what traveling is all about. Charm city, baby. If I was American, I would not be doing stuff like this because I wouldn't have health insurance because I wouldn't have any freedom being an American. But being a British lad, I've got travel insurance so I can do stuff like this and not have to worry about going bankrupt or dying, which is always good. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh my God, that metal is so... <laughs> that just cracked a little bit. Oh God. I hate heights and I hate sketchy things like this. Look at that. That's not good, is it? Right, come on then. Okay, right. Oh God! I just stood on the box. All right, this is the easy part. Right, I'm going to walk this way until I recognize the street that I started walking from originally. Hey man, you all right? Just visiting like you are, you know what I'm saying? Just you visiting, it seems fine. It seems charming like that, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? But it's it's got a really bad underbelly. Like it's, it's dangerous as hell. It's dangerous on a night. I'm, man, it can be broad daylight. I, I've seen shit happen in broad daylight, man. Do you want to be in my video? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, do you want to meet up at some time? I'm yeah, I'm going to be here tomorrow. Because I just wanted to speak to you before when you were coming out of your house yeah, to like yeah. hear your story. Because I think it's really good what the church is doing to help people. Oh yeah, it's really awesome, man. It really is. So when you when they find you a new house, yeah. someone else will go into your the place where you're staying. Uh-huh. 
and then it'll just it's like a continuous cycle exactly exactly do yeah. you know how many There's people a waiting list so yeah. oh, how did you get on the waiting list in the first place um just see okay i was there originally as one of the founding members we were in tents at first and he actually the, the pastor built them for us the homes you know what i mean we were yep. in tents at first there was four of us and uh so once you find permanent housing, the next person on the waiting list, yep. you know, comes in. And you got to get voted in by the other um, villagers. And who was the guy that was helping out before taking out the trash? Um, that is Mike. He's um, what they call a steward. Okay. It's basically, you know, he just, you know, takes care of the properties. And he also um, makes sure it's just a safe spot. You know, nobody's messing with anything yeah. up there. And, Seem like a friendly guy. Yeah, Mike's a great guy, man. Do you stand on that corner most of the time? Yeah, I've been there like over five years. Five years on the same corner? Yeah. Do the police ever tell you to move on? No, not up here, thankfully. Okay. Um, now, most of the people that, you know, panhandle downtown and stuff, where I first started when I was, you know, first became homeless in Baltimore. Yeah. I was down there and they mess with you a lot down there. Oh. But have you, was that a cigarette? Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so have you run into a bit of trouble out here on a night? Because I know it's obviously a dangerous city. That's what I was saying. Yeah, most definitely. Um, but is that in the nighttime or the daytime? I'm saying it can happen broad daylight, okay. man. I've seen it happen, you know. Um, so sometimes so I've, I've been jumped in the daytime and at nighttime, so it really doesn't matter. So it's, it's pretty... It's got a lot of good things about it, and it's also got a lot of negative things about the city, you know? Yeah, so I guess, like, the name of it being charming is because the people are charming. That's, well, they can that's be. That's where it originated, yeah. But at um, the same time, it's dangerous. Oh, most definitely. Just like any city, though, yeah, really, yeah. you know? What's your name again, mate? Alex. Alex. Yes. What's yours? Dan. Dan, nice to meet you, officially. <laughs> nice to meet you, mate. What state were you born in? Right here, in Baltimore. In Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. How old are you? 37. 37, 32. Okay. Do you have any siblings, any family? Um, no, I mean, I technically, when my dad remarried, he, uh, I have a half brother and a half sister, but I'm not in contact, so. Yeah. But I'm with my mom and father's only child, so, yeah. Do you speak to your parents? Uh, my mom's passed away in 2013. Sorry about that. Yeah, one. thank you. Um, and my dad, I'm not in contact with, so. Would you like to be in contact with him? Not really. No. <laughs> he's, he's a real dick. <laughs> well, you seem like a very nice lad. Thank you, man. Thank very you. approachable, easy to talk to, yeah. level-headed. I didn't even realize it was you stood on the corner. I was just waiting yeah, for the lights. So I, I thought... You, yeah, I saw you recognize you immediately. Yeah. It's that mustache. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a lot of people are complimenting yeah, me. It's it's nice, I like your mustache today, man. Hey. Money. <laughs> <laughs> How much money is it? Five bucks. Dude. Five bucks. Look at that, man. That's crazy. You got some good luck. Hey, mate. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? Fantastic. Right. Good to see you. All right, Dan. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Have a safe um, night, man. You know where I'm at if you ever want to talk. And yeah, yeah. Another video or something. Yeah. Thanks, bro. I'll be here tomorrow. All right, brother. In a bit, man. Have a good night. How was uh, Goodwill? I found nothing. I need to get a hat because I gave my hat to somebody else. Oh dear. I came down here today and I was pressing the buzzer. Oh, this is cool. How long have you had this? Um, probably like three or four years. I'm sorry if I'm a little bit late. I was walking quickly and I saw Alex, that lad on the side of the corner, and I didn't know it was him and I gave him a dollar and then he turned around and noticed me and then we just started walking down here together. Oh no, it's cool. I uh, actually ran into some friends and was chatting with them and just played some chess on my phone. This yeah. is so cool. Yeah. Were these the things you were using last night, this one, this tape deck? Um, that's a separate one, actually. That's one that I'm gonna take a look at um, for my friend because um, he's looking to buy a tape deck. It's just like, I have some extra ones and I sell like audio gear sometimes. An apartment for if ever there's like musicians or something like. They can come and stay here. Kind of cluttered, but yeah. Wow. But well, yeah, people can come and like, you know, stay. Do you ever rent this out on Airbnb? No. It's just like free to 
Right, this is well. You got a little bathroom in there. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, and there's like a kitchen behind that uh, divider thing. Do you ever stream videos like on YouTube here? If you do, I'm going to subscribe to your channel. We should. Um, I've had people do live sets here, but they recorded the audio, not the, the video. How do people find this record store? Um, well, we have a uh, Instagram page. Uh huh. It's uh, E2E4 Record Shop. And then um, largely word of mouth. And uh, yeah, myself and Graham that I do the store with, we both um, you know put on different shows around town and DJ around town. So yeah, with people, that's what we've been up to. So no advertising, because there's no like um, sign outside. Yeah, we're we're actually working on getting a sign. I just asked uh, the landlord if we could uh, paint direct them the brick, because that would be ideal. Yeah. Because um, this is like low key, but I think that makes it even cooler. Yeah, there is something charming about it, but yeah. also like, you know, there are a lot of people that probably would be interested in checking us out that don't know that we're here. Right, mate. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll shoot you a message. Uh, right, right, cheers, Colin, mate. Catch you in a bit.